back to school September 2018. Yeah, bring it on! Okay, welcome to Set Up For Success. I am Tracy and this is my back to school video. This video is intended really for parents and children and it's to help you prepare your child to return to school with a mindset for success. Now, this is a new year, a new academic year for your child. This is an opportunity to wipe the slate totally clean. Whatever happened in last year, whatever happened to them last year, whatever happened in their grades, in their lessons, amongst friends, amongst teachers, this is an opportunity to start new, to start fresh, and to make a clean and brilliant new beginning and have a successful 2018 stroke 2019 academic year. Now, some of the basic things about equipment and being prepared, I've made it in an earlier video, one of my old videos, which I will put the um, link to. Um, and though that video just talks about making sure your child is prepared in terms of equipment, um, uniform, um, all those sort of things that they need in order to be ready and prepared for each and every lesson, which in itself will set your child up for success. But there's also a mindset that's required to set your child up for academic success. And this is what I want to be speaking to you parents about so you can help prepare your child so they'll make the best of this academic year. One of the first and most fundamental things I would recommend to any parent is to have a look at the uniform policy. Now we want our child to return to school and to be in peace and to be in an atmosphere where they can do their best. So for example, you need to check with your school's uniform policy with regards to hair, hairstyles or hair colour. You don't want to send your child back to school with bright red hair or bright red extensions and first and the first thing they're doing is meeting confrontation because they're going to be telling your child that's not appropriate calling you you don't need that that's so totally unnecessary um, or your child's going back to school and they don't like all these fancy hair designs and boys hair with you know these patterns they just like a straight fade etc etc so look at that you don't want any confrontation you want peace you want your child to go back ready to learn so look at the uniform policy and abide by it if you've chosen to send your child to that school so cooperate with that school look at the uniform policy do they want your child to be wearing trainers if not get your child sensible school shoes get the right clothes the trousers the right skirt just avoid confrontation because you want to set your child up for success, not for any confrontation, not for any arguments, not for any issues. Okay, so your child will be going back to school this week coming at some point. And hopefully you'll take some time to have a little talk with them just to prepare them mentally to go back to school because they've had six weeks of just living their life, doing their own thing and just enjoying themselves. And so it's time to go back to school, back, time to go back into a completely different environment, a very structured environment, an environment that has rules, an environment where there's going to be certain expectations. So there's going to be some, so there needs to be some sort of dialogue between you and your children to set them up for success in school this academic year. And I've just listed some things as a teacher, looking at it now from a teaching or teacher's perspective of how you can prepare your child to return to school with a mindset of success. So one of the things I think is um, important is to encourage your child to be positive. 
And that doesn't mean being happy all the time and being, you know, on cloud nine, no. But having a positive attitude towards their education. Now, there's not going to be every subject that you enjoy and every teacher that you enjoy and that you get on with. There's going to be some um, teachers that you just don't get on with and some subjects that you just cannot stand. Nevertheless, you still need to excel in those subjects. You still need to do those subjects and you need to do your best. So the best approach is to be positive. I've got to um, take, for example, geography. I don't like my geography teacher. I don't like the subject. However, when I get in there, I'm going to do what's required of me. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try my hardest. That is all any teacher will ask or could ask of a child. Get in there, try your best, do your hardest, do the work. Don't distract others. Don't be talking negatively. Um, to other children because you're feeling negative. Oh, I hate this subject. Don't you just hate this subject? Oh, I can't bother to do this. Oh, let's not do this. Let's talk. No. You know that's going to get you in trouble. That's going to lead you in the wrong direction. Don't do that. Stay positive and stay focused. Even if you don't like it, it's not forever. School is only five years and I know everyone may, may tell you this, but these five years fly by. Ask anyone who left recently in year 11 how quickly it flew by, how prepared they, how unprepared some of them were for year 11. So it really is only five years. It will not last forever. Just get on with it, be positive, and just do your very best. Friendships are always um, a tricky area at school. And a lot of the times, a lot of the issues that children face are to do with their friendship groups. Now, if your child had a particular friendship group that didn't work well for them last year, I would ask you to encourage them to think about making new friends. It doesn't mean you need to get rid of your old friends entirely because sometimes that causes issues in itself. But if you see a group of um, friends um, children who are working well, they always do the right things, they're getting on with their work and they're making good progress. Consider making friends with these children to try to mix up your friendship groups and to introduce some positive people, some people who've got a good work ethic, some people who um, don't like being in the in crowd. I mean, that is one of the things I would say stay clear of. Those people who want to always be in the in crowd, who want to be the loudest, to be the most popular, um, they'll have other issues why they always want to be the popular one, the loudest one, the one who always seeking attention. Try to avoid those people. Don't try to always be the loudest, the most popular. Step away from that type of crowd and try to join the crowd who are at school to work because that's what you're at school for. School is not a fashion show. School is not a social club. School is not um, there for you to find your life mate. One thing you'll find is that once you leave school, a lot of the people that you see there, you may never, ever, ever see them again. So go to school with an attitude, with a focus that I'm here to work and I want to be amongst those people who are working, who are serious, who are focused.